In this first introduction lesson, I would like to explain what is Laravel, how it's made, and how it works. Now, first of all, what is Laravel? As you probably know, Laravel is a PHP framework. It's built on MVC design pattern. So you might think to yourself, what is MVC design pattern? Well, hold on, we'll get to it. Laravel is easy to learn. Honestly, when I started coding in Laravel, I was amazed how simple it is comparing to all other frameworks I worked with, such as Symfony, Zend, and Code Igniter. However, to do much with less code, you need to understand how all the things are connected in Laravel. Today, Laravel is the most popular PHP framework, and it is must know for every PHP developer. As promised, here comes the MVC design pattern, or according to Wikipedia, architectural pattern. Don't get confused, it is the same thing. Design pattern is a general repeatable solution to a commonly occurring problem in software development. It is not a finished design that comes in code, just a description or a template for how to solve a problem. MVC is only one of design patterns, and if you want to get advanced on this, I would suggest you searching for PHP design patterns. Let's break up MVC to model, view, and controller. Let's first start with the model. It is a class that maps to the data relation and potentially bridge tables. Now, if this sounds confusing, let's say that we are building a blog application. It has users, articles, and comments. Now, user is one model, article is a model, and comment is also a model. So, when you're about to create a new user, you're referencing to a model, not database table. Model will take care about everything in the background. Cool, right? But model can also be a bridge of multiple database tables. But don't worry about it now. We will get to it later in the course. Moving on, we got to the views. Laravel is using Blade templating engine for views. And don't worry about it either. In the view, you will mainly write HTML code. And we got to the controller. As a backend developer, I mainly write code in the controllers. And it is where all the logic code lives. Let's say you want to display a list of latest articles on the main page. Well, you would get collection of articles in the controller, sort them out, and then simply send that collection to the view. A lot of students ask me, hey, do I need to be good at math to be a backend developer? Well, the answer is no. I'm terrible in math, but I can think logically and those are completely different things. Also, a good and experienced developer will keep his code clean and simple, and some unexperienced will do complex things to achieve the same thing. And when he look at the code a month after, he will have a hard time understanding what he was trying to do. A little advice on that. First, take your time and see what exactly you want to achieve and in what ways you can do that in code. Always choose the option with simpler code. 